We were in the middle of the countryside when I took up a pew on the swing right next to you, my eight-year-old child. When I felt a strange envy that even though it was late and it was so dark outside, you still find the energy to be a bit wild, but this time I didn't tell you to go off to bed. Instead, I joined you. I started swinging so high the clouds had my face and I could hear nature singing and the sound of you laughing through the creaking of trains. It's a freeing feeling, isn't it? That's hard to explain being younger again. And you said, Mummy, you're going so high, you're going to do a 360. And I say, so what if I do? What if I make it to the top of that tree? What will I see? And you said, the whole world. Wow, the whole world. And I can't help but wonder how our images of that compare with your new set of eyes and my heart in its disrepair. I feel like you can see only the parts of the forest that are still there and thriving. Whereas we can see the parts that burned down and couldn't survive it. You are dancing through life and I'm just hiding the ash. Like when we go cycling and you say, Mummy, look at me now, I'm going as fast as the flash. And I say, look ahead, you don't want to crash, but I don't really worry. Because I know you feel like we're moving in a hurry, but honey, we have never left first gear. But I don't need to tell you that, because as a matter of fact, even though, unlike the Flash, we are moving really slow, I still believe that you are a real-life superhero. And I can stand here for hours making a list of all your greatest superpowers, but the one that you have that I really adore is your ability to see the world through this wondrous awe. But I feel like we've all been there before, right? Like, I remember being younger. No matter how bad things seemed, I always maintained that ability to dream. Like, Tracy Beaker, I too would imagine that my mum would show up in a pink limousine to save me. And I can't remember when that face grew weaker. Maybe when the walls got thicker and... And I stopped dancing. Because when banging happened in my haunted house, I'd close my ears and pretend it was something else like music, or a symphony, or an orchestra playing all around me. But then I grew up and it faded to silence, and now I scour through memories, aiming for a resurrection of any recollection of music, but all I can remember is the very real sound of violence. And I would never go back to that house, but I really would stare back out of that window. And never forget to hold out your hands and embrace life. This world literally has a force that pulls you closer to it that is grace-like. Just hold them there for as long as you can. And never forget through the whole of your lifespan that you will never be too old to play on the swings. Mm. Yeah. <laughs>